Hey guys, it's uh, really a pleasure to be out here today. Um, I was asked a few days ago to come and speak with you a little bit about our organization and everything we're up to uh, in the next few months. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society uh, has been around for 35 years uh, protecting and defending our ocean's habitats and uh, ecosystems and, and wildlife from the destruction of uh, corporations and greed and um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, this is really hard. Um, All right, so I'm gonna put this down because it just makes it harder. So right now, uh, I'm docked down in White Bay with the Bob Barker. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Bob Barker is one of four of our ships that uh, is going down to the Southern Ocean to stand up against the Japanese whaling fleet um, from illegally whaling in the Southern Ocean. Um, this is just a good example of um, you know the reasons why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, there's no one out there enforcing uh, international maritime laws. Um, you know, we've, we've been doing this worldwide. A lot of you might not know this, but uh, we run campaigns all year round. You might see us pass by for the Southern Whale Sanctuary uh, Protection um, Campaign, but, you know, I mean, I just got back from Japan doing an anti-dolphin slaughter campaign um, where they are slaughtering and uh, exploiting marine mammals, dolphins, whales, and shipping them all over the world to uh, casinos, dolphinariums, aquariums. Um, we run campaigns uh, in Nambia. Uh, we have a, an ops team there investigating and standing up against the mass slaughter of seals, which if, if, if things don't change in Nambia, um, you know, this, that seal population, which is only native to that area, will go extinct. The fur industry is just banking off of the poor economy. And uh, we're over there bringing awareness um, and, and doing what we can to, to protect these, these seals. Um, so the majority of what we do is to stop corporations of overfishing our oceans. I mean, our oceans is, is the life force of the entire world. And, you know, it, some might say, well, no, this is my ocean, you know, well, it's within my borders, it's in my boundaries. But what they might not understand is this is our ocean. We all share the same ocean. And um, it deserves the respect and protection from uh, everybody. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about what we're doing here uh, in White Bay. Um, we're preparing to go down to the Southern Ocean this year for Operation uh, Zero Tolerance. Um, what you might not know is that Japan has taken $30 million of tsunami relief donations to fund their whaling venture. Uh, a lot of that is because they are going bankrupt. Um, they're using that money to build up a security force to protect them from us, which is ridiculous because uh, what they're doing is illegal and um, just recently the Japanese media has been um, focusing on the topic of taking the tsunami relief funds and actually recognizing this. Um, we, we've exposed this over a year ago and as of this month it's now hit the, the mainstream media and uh, let's hope that this year will will be the last year for um, whaling in, in the Southern Ocean. Uh, we have 120 volunteers this year going down. Um, we're all volunteers and that's what makes this great. Um, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, we have people from France, uh, Chile, uh, Australia, just all over the world that come together uh, from you know, money they've raised or money that uh, they might not even have. They've just gotten here by the, you know, the scraps that they, that they have. They sold their cars to get here. Um, you know, we, we live by this motto, if our oceans die, we die. And uh, we have to take this really seriously. Um, it's really apparent that uh, 
you know, the ocean's populations are dwindling. Um, our, our shark populations are down to 90% of what they were 10 years ago. Our bluefin tuna uh, populations in the Mediterranean, if they keep being fished the way they are, they will be extinct in the next few years. Um, and there are no organizations out there uh, that are as direct as us. Uh, we use indirect, non-violent, um, direct action, I guess you could say. Uh, in, I guess, not indirect, I guess it's direct, non-violent um, action against uh, these poachers. And uh, we've been really successful, and we're still at it. Uh, we have a new ship this year. Uh, it's called the Sam Simon. Um, it was donated to us, so we're going down there with four ships and uh, we will shut them down and uh, let's make this the last year that Japan will be uh, taking our whales from us, your whales from you. Um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I'm really grateful for what Occupy is. Uh, I was involved in Occupy Philadelphia briefly for the time I was there and uh, I feel like it's an amazing movement. This is just the beginning and this marks your one year anniversary and let's just say um, you know, this, this needs to get stronger, this needs to get louder. Um, and change comes from individuals like you, like me, like, you know, everybody else in the Occupy movement. And uh, your voice is being heard. Um, and, uh, you know, let's, let's keep it up. Thank you guys.